In this video, we'll look at some common op-amp applications. The op-amp is undoubtedly one of the most useful and versatile components available, and they can be incorporated into circuits ranging from the most basic analog buffer to high-order filters and complex signal generators. The voltage follower is a circuit in which the output voltage follows the input voltage, or V out equals V in. An op-amp is the only required component. The voltage follower is a good reminder that the value of op-amps goes far beyond amplification. In fact, we frequently design op-amp circuits that are not intended to increase the amplitude of an input signal. In the case of the voltage follower, the desired functionality is buffering. An op-amp makes an excellent buffer because it provides very high input impedance and very low output impedance. The high input impedance makes the voltage follower compatible with a variety of source circuits, and the low output impedance makes it compatible with a variety of load circuits. The configuration shown here, called an inverting amplifier, is one of the most fundamental op-amp based amplification circuits. The negative feedback action causes the gain of this circuit to be almost completely independent of the gain of the op-amp itself. Furthermore, we can precisely control the gain simply by choosing the values of the two resistors. The inverting amplifier also inverts the input signal. That is, it creates 180 degrees of phase shift between the input and the output. This diagram shows an example of an active low-pass filter based on the widely used Salen key topology. Active filters are important because they provide an effective and convenient means of achieving the improved frequency response of a second-order filter. Engineers often work with signals in which the important frequencies are close to the frequencies that need to be suppressed, and second- or higher-order filters are used to achieve a more rapid transition between the portion of the frequency response that has low attenuation and the portion of the frequency response that has high attenuation. Op-amps are used as a simple and effective means of converting a current signal into a voltage signal. The most basic implementation, shown here, requires only one resistor in addition to the op-amp. The input current is applied to the inverting input terminal, and the op-amp generates an output voltage whose magnitude is equal to the current multiplied by the feedback resistance. Perhaps the most common application of the current to voltage converter, also known as a trans-impedance amplifier, is photodiode circuits such as the one shown here. The photodiode generates a current that is proportional to light intensity, and consequently the overall circuit generates a voltage signal that is proportional to light intensity. For more details, check out the link in the description or visit allaboutcircuits.com.